What's up, you guys? No Confidence Gamer here, and today um, I have a very special video for you guys. It is like two days after Thanksgiving, and Black Friday was yesterday. It's currently the Saturday, and as you guys know, I'm a huge nerd, and I love technology. So today I have an unboxing video, and I finally got my hands on a new Xbox, a Series S, and I am so excited. So let's get to opening this guy. So now on the back here, there's these little like pull tabs. I don't know if you can see them. It's like right there, yeah. So we're gonna, oh man, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Let's get right into opening this. Oh my God, I ruined the box, no. Let's get right into opening this. Oh, let's get right, let's get right. Okay, well that kind of ruined my day, but it is what it is. In fact, for this one, I'm just gonna, just gonna cut it, because I really don't wanna. Eh? Could have easily cut my hand there, but it is what it is. And for this bottom one, we're gonna do the same. Okay, you guys, I know these aren't too rare, and at the time, and actually still now, I got my PS5, they are really rare. But, um, I just wanna make a video, and I'm getting really back into making videos, and I'm really happy, and I'm really excited about it. The, um, oh, shoot! Okay. The, the console itself is exceptionally small. I mean, so I made a unboxing of the PlayStation 5 video, and the thing was huge. This thing is, like, tinier than my Xbox. Like, I have the white Xbox One. This thing is extremely small. It is, like... Ooh. I'm not... I don't hate it, but, like... That is, like, nothing. Like, what's something I can show in comparison? Okay, you guys, here's a very small comparison for you guys. Um, here's a can of soda. I'm gonna say it's about two cans of soda tall, which, gosh, the, uh, the, the metric system of the No Confidence Gamer system, the measuring system. But you guys, it's super duper tiny, and I'm not gonna lie, I like it, because the Xbox, or the PS5 was kind of a behemoth, and this guy's kind of small. This will look good on the shelf. Um, and I also did already get out some of the goodies. Um, I got the power cable, which is just the normal one, no big deal, and HDMI, which I desperately needed. And um, the new controller, which I have not held yet. And I will say, it's awesome, actually, these little grips. So here's the thing, man. I've always liked the Xbox controller. It's always felt very well in my hands. It's always felt very good in my hands. Um, I have kind of bigger hands, so that's why when the PS5 controller came out, it was huge because the PS4 controller was a little too skinny for my big hands, but I've always liked the Xbox controller. They really did keep the same. Um, they put some grips on the back of it. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but they didn't put some nice grips there, and it's a good, nice white controller. I have not touched the new one yet. The D-pad has a little little extra whatchamacallits to it. We got a share button now. And there's no, I remember on the Xbox One controller, there was like a little dip here. There's no dip anymore. And of course they still give me AA batteries because it's Microsoft and they, for some reason, don't like giving me uh, rechargeable controllers like <laughs> Sony would. But it is what it is. And I still love Xbox and playing Xbox from day one. And now I'm gonna go downstairs in my room and set this guy all up for you guys. And then I will see you guys down there. I got the console all set up. It's even smaller than the Xbox 360 and a lot smaller than the PS5. But I got it all set up. I got a hard drive back there attached to it. Um, we're all ready to go. Here's the desk. Here is the controller that we're going to be using. That's the camera you see all the videos shot on. Um, excuse my room. It's a little messy, but let's turn it on. I actually haven't set up a console in ages. Oh, we got a Switch HDMI. Oh, it switched, it switched, it switched.
All right, you guys, now that the Xbox is all set up, and I did notice I put it uh, upside down, by the way, but now that the Xbox is all set up, I'm gonna give you guys a little voiceover of me setting it up on the console. So now, I haven't set up an Xbox since about 2015, and I'm gonna be honest, they totally changed it up. So with the introduction of the Xbox app, they basically totally, totally, totally allow you to set it up on your phone. And now that's awesome because I already had my Microsoft account all set up on my phone and it was basically already done. Now there are, are a few things I'd really like to point out. One, I'm on an iPhone, so that screen will be popping up sooner rather than later of the actual phone at work. It took me a minute to actually get my phone up and and two, I do have a little picture of me over my verification code because I wanted to keep it intact for cybersecurity reasons. Okay, guys, now that the phone is up and ready to go, it does ask you if you want to return on um, auto update, which I did, and some remote features from your phone. I am currently on an iPhone, and this is a screen record of everything. And now, once you connect your phone, it totally lets you just set it up on your phone. The second thing is um, no boundaries, because I'm not a child, so obviously I can buy whatever I want, really. Um, and then it asks me, so it looks through all my saved data, and it asks me what account I'd like to resurrect. Um, and all this other stuff now something really really cool that I did like about this whole setup process was how quick and easy it was as well as so I actually gave away my other Xbox I actually synced all the settings to my profile the night before I gave it away so as soon as I got this it remembered all of my settings and remembered everything um, and I also named it Danny's Xbox Series X because I was so excited about it with 20 exclamation points. So that will forever be the console name or I believe I can change it. But um, just so you guys know, as soon as you get out of the box, it will need to update, which is pretty normal for any technology, whether it be a phone or a computer or a gaming console. Um, it allows you to update. It has to update right out of the box and it allows it. It usually goes quick. Um, but then it asked me what apps I wanted. Of course, I wanted the Hulu, the Netflix, the YouTube, HBO, Disney plus all that stuff because I do watch some shows on it at my desk when I'm just kind of not feeling like booting up my computer because um, it auto turns on really quickly now versus the ps5 I have a ps5 and did an unboxing video of that versus the ps5 I would say that the Xbox did it a little bit better on the initial setup because I thought the ps5 was kind of a pain well here let me put it to this way with for me I just had all my games on an expandable hard drive so I just plugged it in and it was ready to to go um, that's not how it was for me on the ps5 I had to wait for some stuff to download but I really did like the incorporation of just doing it all on your phone I thought that was really cool maybe the ps5 had that and I just didn't notice it but I just liked being able to click through everything on my phone and calling it a day I thought it went quicker I thought it went smoother um, than the ps5 setup and now this update did take a while but again I have some buns internet so I will see you guys when it's done updating Okay, you guys, now that the console is done updating, something that really impressed me about both the PS5 and the Xbox out of the box was that the controllers just connected to them automatically. There was no pairing system. They just connected super duper well and easy. Um, I will say, I don't remember that from last gen if that was a thing, but out of the box, I really liked not having to deal with like a pairing setup. But with the pairing setup, I know as soon as I get a new controller, I will have to pair it. It won't always be right out of the box. But I did think it was really cool. It said, Welcome Reclusive Siren, which is my gamer tag. Kind of just, I don't know. I, I think that's fun. It's a cool little detail that's like welcoming me into the Xbox world. Um, but anyways, you guys, why right off the bat is trying to sell me some Xbox Game Pass. No thank you to that. I really don't play video games enough to use any of that. But right now... I would like to bring up a few things. So versus the PS5 versus this, um, something that really disappointed me was I was really looking forward to something more. Like this is exactly how the Xbox One looked, the operating system, which I don't think it's a bad operating system, but the PS5 had, it was totally different, it was totally new, and it was kind of like being a little kid on Christmas, seeing something I'd never seen before, experiencing something that I'd never experienced before. This was all the same, however, I don't think it needs to be changed, and as you can see there, you could see everything, all my Xbox accounts were there. But anyways, you guys, that'll be the end of this video. Hope you guys did all enjoy. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.